Hi everybody and welcome to Cooking with Cricket. Today I'm going to make my stepdad's version a very easy peanut brittle. Um, when we were at my mom and stepdad's house, he said, come here Cricket, I want to show you this recipe. He caters a lot of things because he has that big smoker and all and he, you know, does brisket and pork and all kind of stuff. So, and he has a car that he's rebuilt from nothing made like an old-timey car I call it a ZZ top car uh, he's done two of them so he was going to an event that night and he was gonna make some peanut brittle so he's like come here Cricket I want to show you how to do it he made it twice I did not have my camera but I had my phone we tried to film it my video on my phone kept saying that I didn't have enough storage space so then we tried to finish it on his phone and I'm still going to actually take my camera and film him making it, but I want to go ahead and do this. So this is my first time making it. It's very, very easy. He didn't worry about sugar crystals forming. He actually used his cast iron skillet. He took his pan and he just sprayed it. Take a, a one of your cookie lined cookie sheets. He sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray or you can brush it with some butter. I'm using my silicone mat. That is ready. Have everything ready. Make sure you have no little ones in the kitchen. You're going to be working with very hot sugar. That's like molten lava. So make sure no little ones are in the kitchen at all. No pets are in the kitchen. All of my pets, they're taking their naps. So they are safe and in other rooms. So let's get started. Now, the peanuts that I am using, I got this big O container at Sam's. They are already salted with sea salt. And they are the extra large Virginia peanuts. They are very good, so I'm not adding any salt to this. But we're going to need one and a half cups of peanuts. So mine's already measured out and ready to go. We're going to need just a half a cup of water. He did not use water in his. He just used sugar and peanuts. I'm going to add a little water. And I have two cups of sugar. So make sure you have your pan ready. He said don't use metal. Of course, um, use like a wooden utensil. And I also have my silicone rubber spatula too that I'm going to be using. Uh, if you you can spray that with some nonstick spray. We don't need a candy thermometer or anything. And this was really good. Now, if your peanuts are not salted, add a little bit of salt, just a pinch of salt to your sugar. But mine are already salted. So, over medium high heat, and he used high heat, but I'm going to use medium high heat. I'm going to add my sugar. And my water and we're going to stir this together and then this is going to start to boil and bubble and we need to be very careful and to work very fast that's why everything needs to be ready and once this turn starts turning to an amber color that's when we're going to remove uh, remove this from the heat and add our peanuts and pour it in our pan. That's why everything needs to be put together. So I will bring you back when this starts to boil. And like I say, he did all of this. It was just the dry sugar over high heat in his cast iron pan. I don't want to use a non-stick pan because you might not can tell when it starts to change color in a non-stick pan. And I just want to make a note that even though he just stirred his vigorously, I'm not because I don't want sugar crystals getting really on the side of the pan, so I'm just kind of dragging my spatula through it. But once the sugar gets melted, I'm not going to really worry about it that much. All right, we're starting to bubble. Make sure you stay with this. Don't walk away from it. And I'm just going to keep the camera rolling. I'll put it in fast motion. And once we start to turn colors, 
which could take five to ten minutes. I will bring you back. Now, since he didn't add water to his and his was just sugar, it didn't take his long at all. And like I say, he just kept stirring the sugar and once it melted, it didn't take it long to start turning color. And that's when you really have to be careful and work fast. So we're going to stay right with it and I will continue. I'll put it back in fast motion for you. And this has been going for about five minutes. But once it starts to turn, we really have to be careful. Okay, it's starting to turn. I don't know if you can tell it, but now it's really an amber color. I'm going to let it go just a few more seconds because we don't want it to burn. I don't know if you can tell. We're almost ready. Makes give it a stir to mix it all up, and there we are. So I'm just lifting mine off the uh, heat. I'm gonna add my peanuts to it, give it a stir, and now get it in my pan. Let me move the camera real quick. It smells delicious. You need to work quickly, and I know I'm turning behind the camera so y'all can't see. Get back on my silicone mat. It's starting to set up really fast. So smooth it out as quick as you can. Push that back up there. Now we're just going to let this sit until it has set up. And for this pan right here, put it right now to soak in some water for easy cleanup. So I'll bring you back once this is cooled and set. Okay, this took about 30 minutes for it to totally cool down. So now it's time to break it up. And it just peels right off this silicone mat. trouble breaking it. You can also smack it. Now, I'm still, when I go over there at Christmas, I'm going to take my camera and actually show you how my stepdad actually made it. It's really good, really easy. So now it's time to try a bite. so good. I could just literally eat all of this right now. Now what he did, he didn't use salted peanuts so once he poured his in his pan, he actually put some salt on top of his. But my peanuts were salted. And this should keep a couple of weeks in an airtight container. As you can see, it was very easy to make. Very quick. So thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up comment because I do love hearing from me and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to and that way you won't miss out on my future uploads and until my next video I hope you enjoy bye y'all but I also wanted to add this is a real easy recipe too if you don't have a candy thermometer and you ain't got to worry about all of that you know just watch it because as soon as your sugar starts to turn it can easily burn so just be very careful with that and it's really really good